My name is Abby Gilfillan and we're here at the virtual open house for Code SMTX. Thank you very much for joining us. I wanted to give you a brief overview of what we're doing here with the project and where we are. Uh, so we started this project in July of 2014 and have uh, had a number of large public events as well as um, a large number of, of smaller events and, and uh, speakers bureaus. Uh, we've gone out to schools, we've been to your neighborhoods, uh, so we've done a lot of work um, on, uh, with the public on trying to make sure that we understand the problems here in San Marcos that we're facing, uh, as well as utilizing our comprehensive plan to understand the vision as to where we want to go. And so what we've done throughout all this process um, and talking to people is we've designed some strategies that we want to employ, uh, proposing to employ through Code SMTX in order to solve the problems that we've heard about with development in San Marcos and meet the vision that was set in the comprehensive plan. In order to do that, two of the big goals for the San Marcos Code SMTX is to move away from a one-size-fits-all approach. In the comprehensive plan, we talk about four different areas, including uh, intensity zones where we want to direct this new growth in a compact way where people can meet their daily needs through a short walk, bike, transit trip or drive. We have employment zones where we want to direct jobs and job growth. Uh, we have existing neighborhoods that we need to maintain and keep that neighborhood character that exists now and maintain that stable neighborhoods. Um, we also have stability areas. So we have environmentally sensitive areas out to the west over the Edwards Aquifer. Um, we have uh, agricultural lands as well as uh, large transportation corridors moving through the east. And so we want to make sure that we have appropriate development for each of those places. And that's really what Code SMTX and this virtual open house is about. It's about looking at um, and understanding the strategies that are being proposed in each of these comprehensive plan areas. So I want to go a little bit over uh, the timeline and where we are with the project. Uh, we started this project, as I referenced, in June of 2014. Uh, since that time, we had our large kickoff event called Rhythm of the Street, where we actually changed the street, way of the street for the day. Uh, and that was really just to raise awareness, get people out, um, and start talking about the project and uh, their desires for a new code in San Marcos. Um, we had our Code Rodeo, which was a large week-long event where we again uh, talked to lots of different people. Um, we've talked to over 3,000 um, individual people at all of these workshops and events throughout this process. Uh, we had our environmental workshop. Uh, the environment is very important and protecting our river here in San Marcos is one of the key uh, pieces to our comprehensive plan. So that's been a big part of this process throughout. Uh, we had neighborhood workshops. Um, We've had our zoning for character workshop where we really focused on intensity zones and how those areas are going to change in order to accommodate this growth. Um, and here we are now at our Exploring Code SMTX open house. This is where we are presenting these strategies that we've worked on over the past 18 months. And uh, we have a survey for you uh, as well. And so we want to find out um, how are we doing? Are we on the right track to meeting the vision and comprehensive plan? And so we'll be asking you uh, throughout this virtual open house those questions. Uh, after this, we'll be able to analyze these results, see where we need to make some tweaks, and then we'll be getting to work on really working on drafting this code, uh, uh, making revisions uh, to uh, implement these strategies. So thank you for joining us.